And finally today, we've been tracking this all along, because even though I know that most WhatsApp users aren't using WhatsApp primarily for the security features, I had an inkling some not insignificant number of users were there for things like end-to-end encryption, and because it wasn't, at least until now, Facebook proper. And look, you know Zuckerberg likes to watch those analytics on all of his platforms like a hawk. So as apps like Signal and Telegram have suddenly surged to the top of the App Store, suggesting a WhatsApp diaspora was in effect, don't think Zuck didn't notice. WhatsApp has clarified its new data sharing policy with Facebook on its FAQ page, quoting The Verge. WhatsApp published a new FAQ page to its website outlining its stances on user privacy in response to widespread backlash over an upcoming privacy policy update. The core issue relates to WhatsApp's data sharing procedures with Facebook. With many users concerned, an updated privacy policy going into effect on February 8th will mandate sharing of sensitive profile information with WhatsApp's parent company. That isn't true. The update has nothing to do with consumer chats or profile data, and instead the change is designed to outline how businesses who use WhatsApp for customer service may store logs of its chats on Facebook servers. That's something the company feels it is required to disclose in its privacy policy, which it's now doing after previewing the upcoming changes to business chats back in October. Quote, we want to address some rumors and be 100% clear we continue to protect your private messages with end-to-end encryption, the official WhatsApp account tweeted and linked to the FAQ page. WhatsApp executives, as well as Instagram chief Adam Mosseri and Facebook AR VR head Andrew Boz Bosworth, are now trying to set the record straight, perhaps to little avail at this point. Quote, there's a lot of misinformation about the WhatsApp terms of service right now. The policy update does not affect the privacy of your messages with friends or family in any way. The changes are related to messaging a business on WhatsApp, which is optional, Mosseri tweeted. WhatsApp chief Will Cathcart also took to Twitter a few days ago to post a thread trying to cut through the confusion and explain what's actually going on. Quote, with end-to-end encryption, we cannot see your private chats or calls and neither can Facebook. We're committed to this technology and committed to defending it globally, Cathcart wrote. It's important for us to be clear this update describes business communication and does not change WhatsApp's data sharing practices with Facebook. It does not impact how people communicate privately with friends or family wherever they are in the world. A bit of irony in all of this is the data sharing that WhatsApp users are so keen to avoid all of a sudden has already likely been happening for the vast majority of those who use the messaging platform. The company let users opt out of data sharing with Facebook for only a brief amount of time back in 2016, two years after Facebook purchased the platform. After that, new signups and those who didn't manually opt out of data sharing have had some WhatsApp information, principally their phone number and profile name, shared with the larger social network for ad targeting and other purposes. If you did opt out, WhatsApp says it will honor that even after the February 8th update, according to PC Mag. end quote. So Telegram says it has seen 25 million new signups in just the last 72 hours, but Telegram isn't fully end-to-end encrypted, right? So maybe that's not the best choice. Plus, they're a Russian company, I think. Not saying anything about that, but you know. Signal is the one that's end-to-end encrypted and backed by Brian Acton's money, right? They apparently broke monthly download records in one week last week. Quoting Nick Stat on Twitter, This WhatsApp privacy controversy that is, again, based on incorrect information, is really getting away from Facebook, which at this point is more a sign of the company's reputation than anything else, end quote. Yeah, what did I say earlier in the show? Hoisted by your own petard?